In this part 5 video of assembly via Arduino, a 16x2 LCD is interfaced with the UNO and programmed in assembly to display a text message. To program the LCD we need to first initialize it by determining the resolution of the display and the size of the bit operation whether we are doing a 4-bit operation or 8-bit operation. And we need to send a set of uh, command bytes to the control register of the LCD. And to send a command to the LCD, we need to first set pin RS to 0. And then put the command code on the data pins. If we're using a 4-bit operation, then pins D4 to D7. And then we need to send a high to low pulse to pin enable. And keep in mind we have to wait 100 microseconds after each command. To send data to LCD, we need to set pin RS to 1, and then put the data on the data pins, and then send the high to low pulse to pin enable. Again, we need to wait 100 microseconds. This table shows you the LCD commands. The codes are in hexadecimal. In this video, we'll be programming the LCD to operate in 4-bit operation. We are using data lines D4 and D7, so we need to send this hexacode to the command register of the LCD. The circuit shows the interfacing of the LCD with the digital ports of the UNO. We have the data lines D4 to D7 are interfaced to pins PD4 to PD7 of port D. We have the enable line is connected to pin PB0 of port B and we have the register select line connected to pin PB1 of port B. A quick look at the assembly code. We set port D as output for data, port B output for command. We put enable pin to zero, and then we apply delay in millisecond to wait for the LCD to power on. Next, we initialize the LCD by calling this subroutine. Then we send text message to the display by calling this subroutine, and then we clear the LCD screen and then using a loop we wait for approximately one second and then jump to label again and the process is repeated continuously. In subroutine LCD initialization we need to send the bytes 33 and 32 uh, to the command uh, register so that we initialize the LCD for 4-bit data. And then we send the byte 28 so that we have uh, two lines and uh, 5 by 7 matrix. And then we send the byte 0C so that we have display on and cursor off. Then we clear the LCD. And then we initialize the LCD so that we have a shift to right cursor. Keep in mind every time we send a command byte to the LCD we need to apply a delay of a few milliseconds. Subroutine command write will receive the command byte stored in register R16. Now to send this byte over the 4-bit data lines we need to uh, extract the high nibble and then send it over the data lines. So using the AND operation we will mask the low nibble and keep the high nibble. Then we can output this high nibble to port D. Then we set RS to 0. And then we generate the short pulse for the enable. And then we apply a delay of approximately 100 microseconds. Next, we need to output the loanable part of the command byte stored in register R16. First, we need to copy it into register R27, and then using the swap opcode, we swap the low nibble with the high nibble. And then we mask the 
loanable and keep the hindable and then we output the hindable uh, to port D and then we send the enable pulse and then wait for approximately 100 microseconds okay. in a similar way through subroutine data write we send the data byte stored in register R16 by first sending the high nibble and then sending the low nibble in subroutine display message we are sending character by character to the data register of the LCD by calling the data write uh, subroutine and then we apply after each uh, write we apply a delay of approximately 0.25 seconds so routine delay microsecond uses a single loop to give us a delay of approximately 100 microsecond by calling this subroutine 90 times which is delay short and delay short has uh, three operations with three clock cycles and subroutine delay millisecond uses a loop to give us a delay of approximately 20 millisecond by calling the delay microsecond subroutine 40 times finally subroutine delay seconds which was explained in detail in my previous video uses a nested loop to give us a delay of 0.25 seconds in a future video the LCD will be programmed to display analog sensor values input through analog to digital converter thank you for watching